how y'all doing? Oh, I need a shave. Don't look under my underarms if I lift my arms up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look, no, let me stop playing, but for real, we are back with another video. So make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. We are getting right into this. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you like the video if you like the video. Also, comment below if you have any questions about the product that I'm going over. I'm going to try to answer everything that I can possibly think of that you guys will have a question about. But also, comment below if you've tried this product before, if you like it, and what you think. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, let's go ahead and get into the video. Also, lastly, make sure you guys follow me on my socials. I am on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, all that. You know what I'm saying? But you can definitely catch me on Instagram and Facebook on a daily basis. So, make sure y'all follow me. Alright, whatever. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so the talk today is about the Keisha K.O.R. Waist Eraser. I have already did a video on this Sweet Sweat Waist Trimmer Belt. Um, I see that you guys like that video, so... I did mention in that video, if you like the video, that I will go ahead and do a review on the Keisha K.O.R. because I have both of them. So, let's discuss the topics. So, we are going to talk about the price of the product. We are going to talk about the fit of the product, if it's comfortable or not, um, if it's long wearing, if you can lose weight from the product, would I buy it again, and is it worth what it's worth? So. She came out with a waist eraser. Now, honestly, I've had mine now for a long time. Like, a long time. I think probably like three or four years. So, this she got she had this belt out for a while. However, I just threw it in the back of my closet. And we are going to discuss why. So, the first one I want to go over is the price of the product. So, let's look this up to give you accurate information. Okay, so I'm on the actual site. I don't know anywhere else you can purchase it. You might can get it off another site. I'm not sure if it'll be the real one, but I purchased mine off the Keisha Fitness, I mean, excuse me, KORFitness.com site, okay? So it shows here for a small through medium, which is 36 inches at $69.99. It shows a large through extra large, 42 inches at $77.99. And then an extra large to a double X is 46 inches at $85.99. That is expensive. I don't know what type of finances y'all got going on, but look, that's expensive. Honestly, when I purchased this a few years back, I was living with my mom's. I got a rent now. So I, will, I, I can honestly say at that time I was able to do it. But that is the prices. So, next we are going to go over how it fits. Personally, I think that the item, it fits okay. I'm going to point out some things that I actually like about the item. Because I'm not here to bash the product at all because I purchased it. So, this back part right here, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me give you a close-up look. It's like a brace almost in the back. Now, I personally love this about the belt. This is the inside view. Again, I've had mine for a while, so it might be worn and torn. But anyway, the brace that I like right here is very supportive for your back. So if you are doing any type of weightlifting and you need to make sure your posture is good, I will recommend this belt. If you're sitting down and you're wanting to work on your posture, I will recommend this belt. However, it stretches, but not as much as the sweet sweat and this is not a comparison video i'm just saying with me doing the last one it does not stretch as much you know what i'm saying and this is a size i believe it's a size small um yeah i think this is a size small i don't think i was in a medium i don't think i was in a medium i was a little heavier but uh, i don't think i was in a medium so anyway yeah i was in a small let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like on so To me, as I said, it doesn't stretch that much. So it doesn't really go around as much as the Sweet Sweat one that I have. And with me having this one for so long, one thing I don't like about it is that the Velcro, you see, is not as sticky as it was when I first got it. With my Sweet Sweat one, it still sticks. So this comes around like this. You have the KOR in the front, as supposed to be. 
and then you bring the other side around and you got the key or again now granted it's very have you like this attention <laughs> no seriously it really has your posture really good let me show you uh from the side y'all already know about my little baby fupa down here this is the back so this is the brace i was talking about so this has my back like straight up and this is from the side again and this is from the front so i usually take it off like that bam it is very when i say very heavy duty it's heavy duty this feels like it took some money into this she put money in this product okay so let's go ahead and talk about the comfort personally i think that it's comfortable for if you're sitting down for a long period of time i do not think it's comfortable to work out in because it's so structured that it's kind of like it doesn't really move with your body like me personally i do cardio and i do weightlifting so it's too structured for me you know what i'm saying but i can understand why that what it's meant to give i can understand why it's the way that it is but if you're looking to work out in the product it's just not as i don't know it, it's it's too structured for me in my opinion um but comfortable with sitting down most definitely standing up you know doing a few things around the house very comfortable Okay, so is it long wearing and do it roll up? I think that it's long wearing. I think you can honestly wear this product all day. Now, I did state in my last video with the sweet sweat belt that I feel like you can wear it under your clothes. This personally is a little more bulky, so it's not as flat as the sweet sweat one. Um, so I wouldn't wear it under my clothes. If anything, I would wear it over top of my clothes. If you don't mind someone seeing you wearing the belt, then put it over top of your clothes. I wouldn't wear it under my clothes though because then it's gonna obviously look like you got something under there so as it roll up unfortunately it does um but as i said in my last video what do you expect with you sitting down i feel like when you're sitting down you you expect for the belt to roll up unless it comes all the way beneath your belly you know what i'm saying now if you got one of those i think the j sculpt belt is actually like that i'm not sure but anyway um it does roll up now i have experienced i'm sorry keisha but i have experienced it rolling up when i was standing up literally okay so the next question is do you lose weight from the product does it help lose weight you guys should already know what i'm going to say the answer is no it does not um as we all know waist trainers waist slimmers waist cinchers waist all that stuff does not help you lose weight granted it makes you sweat it does but again that's just water weight um i feel like if you're putting in as much work as you should be putting in when you're working out you'll lose weight regardless this is just adding on to if anything um so yeah does it help lose weight no it does not just being honest um would i buy it again no and that's not no shade to Keisha Kaior or the brand itself or the product itself. Well, matter of fact, it's not shade at all. It's just being honest. However, the reason I'm saying that is one, because I think that it's too high for what it does and other products does the same thing that's cheaper. You get what I'm saying? I'm all about being smart about my money. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, I feel like with it being such a hype with, the celebrity and i just think there's a lot of hype behind it i think it's a great product don't don't get me wrong i'm i think it's a great product i just only believe that waist cinchers and waist erasers and trim belts are made for you to drop water weight is adding on to your workout it's not really doing the job for you so with me knowing that i feel like I can buy a waist trimmer belt that's less than this and still get the same results, if that makes sense. However, this back brace, I think is probably the main reason, and aside from the quality, I told you it's very heavy duty. I think those are the main reasons why it costs so much. And on top, of course, the brand and who it is that came out with the product. I think that's why it costs so much. But I wouldn't purchase it again. I'm not paying... $80 for something that can 
be done with paying twenty dollars. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. So, um, last question I have is: Is it worth it? Um, it depends on your pockets, boo. Like if you got it like that, and you know you want to splurge because it's Keisha K or you want to splurge because it's cute and you know everybody wearing it, you want to be a part of the hype. It's worth it. If you want to, to just if you want to get the job done and you don't really care about the name brand and you know all of that no <laughs> so it, it just depends it's personal preference um for me i would not purchase it again as i stated already um but it may be worth it to some people it may not be worth it to some people um to me it's not worth it i'm sorry it's, it's not i do great with my sweet sweat belt um i've been using that for probably a year after i started using after i stopped using this i started using sweet sweat so it's been about three to four years i've been using both products and i can honestly say that i tend to go to my sweet sweat way more than i go to this this was honestly in the back of my closet y'all like not even playing i had to look for this i was like oh my goodness where the fuck is this belt like i need to do a review I don't even know where it's at. I didn't even miss the product. So, I mean, that that alone right there should tell you that I really don't care for it. And, again, this video is not meant to bash the product or the company. Shoot, if y'all ever want me to work with y'all, I'll work with y'all. But I will always be honest. I'm always going to be honest on my review. And that's just that. So, if you guys enjoyed the video and the review, make sure you give me a like. I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed, y'all know what I'm going to say. Go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when I post. Yay! All that good stuff. And make sure you follow me on my socials. As I stated already, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Dad, babe. Dad, dad, eight, eight. <laughs> Bye, y'all.